In this video, we cover hierarchical relationships so that you can create and use them effectively. The tree view in the hierarchy represents the parent-child relationships between all the objects in your active artboard. These hierarchical relationships are a core concept in Rive, which allows you to create complex layered animations with minimal effort. When you change the transform properties of a parent object, like position, scale, or rotation, the transformations are applied to its children. This allows you to animate multiple objects by changing the properties of a single object. For example, all of the pieces that make up our solar system are children of the solar system group. By rotating it, we can make all of the planets rotate around the sun. Children have their own transform properties which can be animated. In our example, by placing the Earth and Moon in another group and rotating it, we can make the moon orbit around the Earth. We can continue creating infinite levels of these parent-child relationships. Every step is a new transform space that allows you to create more complex layers of motion while inheriting all the animations of its parent. We could add clouds animating on the Earth or a lunar base with a flag on it. In this example, each planet has its own subgroup, which acts as a unique transform space. This allows us to make each orbit move at a different speed. The rotation points of all the groups are centered on the sun, which makes the planets rotate from the same spot. Groups, bones, and shapes can all be used to create new transform spaces for your graphics. As you learn more about each, you'll begin to understand which is best to use in a specific situation. To create a hierarchical relationship, simply drag and drop the object or group of objects onto the desired parent within the hierarchy. You'll see in this example that even though an animation has already been created, after adding more children, the animation is applied to them as well. There are no limits to the amount of relationships you can create, nor the depth of the relationships. You can create children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, so on and so forth. It's up to you to choose how you want to use them. Groups are often the most used parent in the hierarchy. They provide a simple object to add organization and additional transform space to objects in your hierarchy. To create a group, Find the Group tool in the Create Tools menu, or activate it by hitting the G key. Now, click on the stage to create an empty group. Finally, nest any desired children under it. Notice, when you do this, the group disappears and a new bounding box is created that surrounds all the included objects. Additionally, the Transform Handles, or Gizmo, appears at the group's position. When you make any transformations to the group, the group's position acts as the origin for those changes. A quicker method to achieve this is to select your objects and then hit Command-G on Mac or Control-G on Windows. This wraps all of your selected items into a new group. Note that the new group is created at the center of the objects. To move the group's position, activate Freeze with the Y key. Once Freeze is active, reposition the group and hit Y again when you're finished. Ungroup objects by selecting the group and hitting Command, Shift, and G on Mac or Control, Shift, and G on Windows. A simple example of this principle is this car animation. Even though the car and the wheels are made up of many shapes and paths, the entire animation is created by animating only three points. Both wheel groups are children of the car group. While the car group controls the position of the entire car, the wheels are being rotated using the extra transform space provided by the groups they're attached to. Mastering this basic concept will unlock a whole new world of animation potential. That's it for hierarchical relationships. In the next video, we'll look at artboards, what they're for, and how to use them and customize them. We'll see you in the next one.